go. Today. Uh, going over to the political part of the podcast, you have the Supreme Court allowing Idaho's puberty blocker ban for kids to stand. Now, this comes to us thanks to End Wokeness on X Twitter. Let me pull up that really quick. And he says, quote, breaking the U.S. Supreme Court rules that Idaho can enforce a ban on puberty blockers, hormones, mastectomies for children under the new law. Doctors and healthcare providers can face up to 10 years in prison, unquote. And it only moderately went viral. I was thinking it would go more considering the significance and the ripple effect this will have, not only in the medical industry, but also culturally, politically in the United States. Now, yeah, they've got 429,000 views and 12,000 likes, which, again, that's not nothing. If you have maybe five tenths of a second, if you could click that like button on this video, I would, of course, greatly appreciate it. Now, at the same time, you have these other states that are acting as quote unquote sanctuary states. So if you want to remove body parts for your children, you can go over there and the doc, I guess legal, technically they are a doctor, they will do that, which is quite concerning to say the least. And they could also, in some cases, prescribe these drugs to the kids that were engineered originally for sex offenders. And we have no studies on long-term effects of children as well. It also sterilizes them. Most people with a modicum of intelligence would call those types of acts horrific, evil, to say the least. But there are Americans who believe in that, and there are people who will vote for places to allow that to their children. There are people who move across the United States for that, I was about to say, ability. It just sounds disgusting all around. This is one of the few topics I'm fiercely against the concept of. I think it's morally, mentally vacuous, to say the least, especially when they use the cliche argument of, the, oh, the kid's asking for it. The kid wants this. When again, no one with a modicum of intelligence would allow their child to drink, get a tattoo, smoke, or any of the other cliche things that, again, you are not allowed to make those decisions because you are a child. If you want to, as an adult, there's a time and place for that. Now, that being said, even these types of surgeries are still debatable among many when it comes to, even if you want to do it later in life, another topic for another time, perhaps. Now, one of the first comments from this calls, comes from Paul Zuzupa. He says, quote, Oh, geez Louise, if the tech will work for me. He says, quote, This is an awesome precedent that's now been set. Now any other state can similarly block these procedures and protect children from the perversions of gender ideology. Today, children won thanks to Trump's SCOTUS. I'm cooking 44 likes. And you could also debate, it's also thanks to Ruth Bader Ginsburg being one of the most selfish, mentally evil people of all time. If Ruth Bader Ginsburg was not so so hungry for power. If she retired under Barack Obama's presidency, Obama could have appointed someone else. Now, she was so hungry and just narcissistic, very similar to Feinstein, they worked until the day they died, regardless of mental capacity. And because she just had to hang on to that power, she expired under Trump's presidency and he was able to nominate some constitutionalist, which made a lot of people angry. You also have Libercat Media TM responding saying, quote, you're telling me I can't I can't pick my bedtime, but I can pick my gender, unquote. And that particular meme got pull this up, 183 likes. You also have Red Wave. Well, let's see here. Red Liberate Media TM also says there's no such thing as a trans child. It is a child with a dress that says that. And you also have the trans, not the flag, but it's the colors of the flag behind the child. Let's see. You have Guthrie. Or say the young saying, quote, huge win for child abuse, getting three, 513 likes. Let's see here. Gunter Eagleman says, quote, this is what winning looks like, getting 276 likes. You have, let's see here. Got a couple of monitors trying to. You have Miss Bigglesworth meme saying, quote, I love this. This is the best news ever. And there's a prescription bottle that says they, them. And it looks like it's Lois from Family Guy with green hair and a cliche cow, cow ring. On her nose, and she said, and says, ugly people with no personality or skills, getting 67 likes. Scrolling down yet more and more, you also have Red Wave Press saying, quote, awesome news by Idaho, mutilating children is pure evil. Every state should follow Idaho's lead. Follow if you agree, getting 114 likes. Let's see here. So I was trying to see if uh, is there any contrarian statements. Libercat Media TM also has a 
black and white picture of a child and it says in reality they're not after you they're after me you need to be in the way getting 34 likes it's quite concerning in some states and countries if you do not transition your child when the child says they want it then the child will be taken away from you and in some cases you'll be jailed mm. I highly recommend everyone tune into Matt Walsh's little documentary called What is a Woman? They talk about a heartbreaking story where that happened to a father's child, where the mother decided to transition the child against the father's wishes. You also have someone by the name of What is or Who is the Wonder Wolf? And it has a gif of Yoda from Star Wars or Star Trek, I always forget. Kidding, I know people worship the Star Wars. And it says, quote, what trans people need to know, and it says, woman, you are not a pathetic man you are, quote, getting five likes. So as the youth might say, well, perhaps the opposite ratio. In this case, and wokeness was purely vindicated. I mean, pretty much everyone was agreeing with that original statement. And it will be interesting to see the ripple effect. People will move across the country due to this, believe it or not. And we can't but think it will be a matter of time before this becomes, I wonder, let me know in the comments, do you think this will eventually become a federal law? You do have some states like California that will fight to the death to allow these types of procedures. And of course, the antithesis, you have Idaho, you have other states that will fight to the death to protect the children. So it'll be interesting to see if this ends up being a big presidential debate in terms of the major topics voters are looking for when going into the, going to this 2024 year election. I mean, and, I mean, we already know kind of this has become a political issue. People on the left want this. Not all the way, all, all of them, but many of them are voting, and that's one of the things they believe in. And people on the right are against allowing the transition of children. And people in the middle are going, dear God, what the hell is going on with our country? And I wonder, I mean, how will Trump address this? How will he, will he use this as a, I mean, Biden, I mean, I think Biden will probably run with this. They'll, we'll see what the White House is. They put a press release when it comes to this specific topic. If there's, I mean, the rumors is they're going to ex expand the Supreme Court and pack it. That's that's been a rumor for several years. Though Biden has publicly said in the past that he's fervently against it because, again, it would politicize the court forever and pretty much break the last semblance of hope anyone has for equal justice in the United States. But let me know. Do you think this is going to be a hot topic for the new year or this year, rather? And do you think other states will follow? I mean, as always, I would be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving the thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.